The Bank of Korea has kept its key interest rate steady again at 3.5 percent. The market expects a rate cut likely in the third quarter. High inflation and rising household debt will be key factors affecting the decision. Shin Ha-young reports. The Bank of Korea's monetary policy stance of freezing the key interest rate continued into the new year. Following the first Monetary Policy Committee meeting of 2024, the central bank on Thursday announced that it will keep the rate unchanged at 3.5 percent. Although there is a continued slowdown in the inflation rate, it still remains at a high level, and there is significant uncertainty in the outlook. Therefore, we have decided to keep a tightened monetary policy and continue to assess the policy situation both domestically and externally. This is the eighth consecutive time that the BOK has decided to freeze the rate. The base rate was raised to 3.5 percent in January of last year and has remained at that level since February, following 10 consecutive rate hikes to tackle inflation. Analysts say the BOK sees no need to raise the rate as it is unlikely that the U.S. will further tighten its monetary policy. Concerns about high interest rates due to risks in real estate project financing are also thought to be factors that have deterred the BOK from further rate hikes. Real estate project financing involves using loans to fund real estate development projects with the promise of future project revenue as repayment. Higher interest rates and increasing construction costs have led to project delays, creating challenges for firms to repay their project financing loans. Taeyang Engineering and Construction, the 16th largest of those firms in Korea in terms of construction capacity, applied for a debt restructuring program late last month due to a liquidity shortfall as the company struggles to repay real estate project financing loans. Cutting rates immediately would be difficult. The country's inflation rate has stayed above 3 percent as of December, above the bank's target level of 2 percent. Also, rising household loans up for the ninth three months in December are a factor to consider before cutting the rate. As the U.S. Fed indicated three rate cuts in 2024, the market's focus is now on the timing of the BOK's rate cut. The anticipation that the Fed may cut the rates as early as March has somewhat diminished amid a robust job market. If the labor market overheats, wages may rise, leading to increased spending and potentially triggering inflation. With that situation in mind, experts forecast a BOK rate cut as early as July, with Fed rate cuts expected in June. Shin Ha-young, Arirang News.